I don't know if you can see, but it's raining. And my sewing room is in the attic. <laughs> Good morning. Um, this will be my first video, probably, and I only have my phone to shoot with, so it'll be bad. I'm Wiena. I am Dutch. You might hear it. I kind of have a New Year's resolution. It's the 7th of January, by the way, where I would like to go through my full fabric stash. Right now I'm on a no buy until March. I'm not allowed to buy any more fabrics. You know, I'd like to clean out some fabric before I buy new ones to make new stuff with. So this will be, I guess, part one in sewing through my stash. And I hope you'll enjoy. So this is where I keep my stash. It's actually only this with maybe a few pieces. I still have to tidy like up my Christmas stuff, by the way. Um, pardon that. And this first project will be this fabric. This is a curtain fabric that I bought in Sweden. It's from this brand. I'm not gonna try to pronounce all of that. But it's this gorgeous tree fabric with branches that go spread into the middle where leaves are coming down from. And my dad is actually in need of new curtains. And this is the curtain fabric. So I decided, when one comes the other, let's make this into curtains for my dad. It's upside down, but you can see the design a little bit better. I really love it. He loved it as well when I showed it, so I hope he's going to like the curtains too. Um, one little thing. I'm filming this on my phone. I do not have a flip screen or anything, so setting this up to show the sewing is going to be a bit difficult. So I probably won't show much of the sewing and the pressing and all of that. I will try. Um, but this will mostly be vlogging style. Going around, telling you what I'm gonna do, telling you what I did, instead of actually showing me doing it. First things first, this is about three meters of fabric. So I need to cut this in half and sew it together. So you just saw me cutting you saw me cutting very carefully it's because what I sometimes do is especially with like nubby weaves like these big weaves I literally take a thread and cut along that one thread you can actually see it went pretty well so here I can pull this out that's an extra thread just pull that away and now it's frayed this is what it looks like now. I have cut it, sewn it, and pressed it open. Um, and now I need to figure out if I have enough to do curtain bits on the top over there. I do have a basket with some curtain stuff in it. It's somewhere over there. So this is what I have. I was looking for this. Specifically, this. I don't know how much this is. I'm gonna see if it's enough. That is not enough. And also not really what I'm looking for. This is way easier to do. So let's have a look. As it turns out, I don't have enough of either. And right now we're in a lockdown here, so the stores are closed. Hmm. Good morning. It's the 8th of January today. Yesterday I ended up not doing that much anymore. Um, I debated on which reinforcement I had to put in the top of the curtains. And then I went downstairs because I wanted to ask my mom and then I got distracted. Help my mom tidy up the tree, run some errands, and I don't know. So I ended up coming back pretty late in the evening and didn't 
film very much. Um, but I'll show you what I've done. I folded it over three and a half centimeters twice and stitched it. And I also hemmed the edges. The edges are the selvage, but I thought they were a bit fluffy and I had to hide this. So I already had to do a two centimeter hem, so I might as well make it a one centimeter rolled hem. And then I cut in the bottom hem, which is five centimeter hem in total, but it's four centimeters wide and then one centimeter on the inside clipped inward. Finish it off all nicely. So as you can see, I've now pressed it. It's nice and flat, or at least as flat as I possibly can make it. I feel like this stuff wrinkles really easily. So like, ah, it's not too bad. Um, it's pressed. I'm going to put that top stitch in and then I'll report back. Maybe I'll film it, but it's basically the same as what you've seen before. This is, by the way, what it looks like completely unfolded. I finally understand why I take so long to finish projects. I am the queen of procrastination. Yay. But I'm determined to get this finished today. And there's only one thing I need to do. And that is sew in the pleats. I have already pinned them. I've pinned all of them. There are, I believe, 21 or 22. They have five and a half centimeters of fabric in them and eight and a half centimeters between each pleat apart from the very end where there's at least six and whatever amount of fabric I had left here because hems get in the way very easily. So now I'm gonna sew this and hang it up probably. And it'll be finished. Yay! Good morning. I finished the curtains yesterday. So that is one stash busting project finished. I hung them up. I've got some footage that I'll show now. I'm really, really happy with them. They look really nice. I think they're actually pretty adorable. And my parents were really happy with them. It's my dad's office. So I'm very glad that he loved it as well. They're a little bit short. But you don't really see it and he doesn't close them very very often so it's fine so now we can go on to the next project i guess um this will also kind of be the end of this first video i hope you liked it and if you did please look out for the next video i think for now I'm not going to be too strict maybe go bi-weekly you'll see when there'll be a next video thank you for watching and on to the next stash busting project.